Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I wanted to show you how we can build an actor model using the meter. So if you don't know, the actor model is a way for us to distribute our applications and perform computations using actors instead of things like threads, right? It's a computational model. It's a concurrent computational model and can be distributed computational model as well. So there's a great blog post I'll link in this description below along with the source code for this demo uh, on what the actor model is. And this is a great, actually great article, very simple, but let's highlight some things here. So it's similar to object oriented model in terms of you have objects, but they're actually actors. They have state, right? But the only way they can change the state right, change a property, change the value of an actor is by sending messages one to another, right? So, and they can only execute one message at a time. This is really, in a nutshell, what an actor model is. You can go and read this further and we're actually gonna see how it helps us in building applications. So one thing to note is those actors can live in different machines. So a couple of actors can be on one more machine, another actor can be another machine. So you should be able to move them around. One can be a client, one can be a server, right? And you can talk to them and modify the state. So you can think of actors as smaller processes. Now let's go and kind of have a look uh, at this code. I actually written it. I'm not going to do any live coding today because it's a bit too much. So I've written three th simple things. I've written a client, I've written a server and an actor package, right? So let, let, let's go have a look. Actually, let's start with a demo. So I do go run main on a server. So I, it's a client server application with a meter. And you can see there's two rooms, okay? And server started. And then I start a client. So what can I do with this? Well, it's a very, very simple adventure game. It's a text adventure game. So say you've entered the dark room, you might need to look around. If I type look, it says, you notice a small lamp on the desk. All right, let's type lamp. You turn on the lamp and you're not gonna see a door. What about the door? You walk through the door. Yeah, you enter the big room. You can look, lights are on and see a door in the poster. And if we look at the poster, poster says visit our GitHub and to know more about the meter, right? So it is really simple and this was that interesting, I admit, but it illustrates a point. This small game is actually built with actors inside. So let's have a look at how we build the server and how we build the client. And let me make it a bit bigger. Actually, let me close those consoles all together. So now the, the server is connecting to meter, nothing special. And we have two rooms, right? I'm, I built the actor package, which kind of encapsulates all the actor networking part. It hides away all the complexity and it's not that complex, it's actually just 100 lines of code. So how do you use it then? So you have, you create a new actor, you provide a publish key and subscribe key, give it a name, right? Actors have names and they might have state. In this example did not actually have state. You might uh, as well encapsulate this in actor in a smaller and then uh, instruct and then have state right, if you want to give the meter client and say this is not a private, right? The server, on the server actors, they, we have security, right? We don't need to secure them further because they are already on the server. You can just connect uh, to the server and uh, look at all the actors. But all actors inside might be able to talk to other actors. So we have a pretty powerful key here for a meter. We have actor channel and everything below they can talk to and they can subscribe and publish and all of that. 
right? So RevRoom one, then on enter, we invoke this function and we have to and from, right? So whoever enters is an actor as well. So we can send a message back. The way this protocol works, it's literally a command and a text. So it's really simple. It's really just for example, purpose. Right. So when the command enter is invoked, we execute this function and whoever sent this command, we reply and we tell them, well, that's the text you need to show. Similar to look, we tell them this. If you if player types lamp, we tell them th him this. However, if a player says door, we're going to move to another room. So we actually say, okay, tell the player to move and then to a different actor, right? We tell him to, okay, now stop talking to us, talk to the room actor. And the second room, again, it's the same thing, but it's room two. Again, can enter, look and move. When we move, we move back to room one, so we can, can loop around, right? And if we type poster, we have our beautiful message. That's it, it's nothing else. It's really simple game. It's not even a game at this point, but it is simple. Now let's look at the client, right? So this is a server which would run and we have a client. The client needs to have a bit more security. So it would use a different publish and subscribe keys, right? So the subscribe key actually have subscribe and extend permissions. So what the, the way we do it is we create a private link and there's a couple of videos on private links and how to build client server applications. And then publishes, the publish is actually to all actors. So right now the client can publish to any other actor, but cannot subscribe to any actor. It can only subscribe to its own messages. So it will never receive anything, but they can talk to if it guesses, okay, I, I know there's a room too. Or if I, I guess this name, I can talk to it. That's okay. Right. Again, this is just for example purposes. So what do we have here? First thing we do is do create a remote actor with a key to publish it and say room one, right? So the remote takes few things. There's a key takes to and from. So remote to room one from ourselves and a meter client for networking. And we send an enter message to that room. Then we create our, our own. So what do we have here? We have a new actor again, publish and scrap key, our ID, and true means private, create a private link for this. Then we have a couple handlers. So when we receive a move command, what we do, we create a new remote. Basically, if we moved, we need to say, okay, we just redirect ourselves and we're gonna to talk to that other room instead of the room one, right? And we again send enter. So we have some message printed out. So these two lines are basically the same, right? Nothing else. So this is basically the first move. And then when we receive a tell message, we just print it out. Very simple. And then we let the player type. So interestingly, those actors are already distributed, right? We have a client actor, which is a private actor. We have a couple of server actors, but when you can Think about is you can actually distribute even the server actors on multiple servers, right? You don't need to have two, uh, two rooms on the same server. I can go ahead and create server two, which has room two and server one with room one, right? And I actually can place them on different servers, which makes this game uh, really truly distributed, right? It uses a meter as a kind of broker and routing of messages between uh, systems, but it really would make uh, your game, for example, or another application really dis truly distributed. So you can think of it, okay, I want to build really complex machine learning model, takes a lot of 
computations, right? You can have, you can build it using an actor model. Probably not ideal, but you can do that, right? For example, things like telecom often use network uh, actor models, right? So they have antennas and things like this, and they actually use typically actor models. There. So this is how you'd use it. And let's have a look at the package. Again, this is just simple example package, nothing super no rocket science here. Uh, we have a sender which can send commands, right? A remote sender really just does a network called emitter publish with a key to a topic, which creates like an actor topic and the command is on, right? Actor itself is a sender, has a name, as a set of handlers, so it's a map, so all the commands, right? Avoid me doing switch cases all, all around. And then network, right? If it's a private, we create a private link. If it's not, we create, we just subscribe. Every time message is received, we have kind of uh, this format, which is a string in this case, we have a from who, who sent me this message the command and the message itself, right? So, and we invoke this function where the remote is, okay, you send me the message, I can answer you now. And again, this is just under 100 lines, right? Literally. And this is how you would create actor models in using publish subscribe. So I hope this helps and I hope you can build and, and kind of opens your mind up how you even can consider building these distributed applications. Anyway, thank you uh, for watching. Please subscribe and click uh, hit this like button if you like the, my videos. And do comment if you're interested in some other topics. So please let me know so I can create more content which is interesting for you. All right, thanks.